Fall is in the air, and PyCharm has a major new release. Performance, Data Science, Web Development, Core Python, VCS, Database, and more. Let's take a look at what's new in PyCharm 2017.3. We've been working hard at performance, and 2017.3 brings the first set of improvements. If you work with remote interpreters over SSH, you've seen the wait as PyCharm transfers its helpers and downloads libraries before you can start working. Let's compare 2017.2 setup versus 2017.3, which brings a dramatic speed up, letting you quickly get back to coding. Speeding up the debugger has been an emphasis this year, with work on Cython compiled speedups. In 2017.2, we shipped binaries for Windows, but macOS users had to click a link. 2017.3 ships those speedups for macOS as well. Also in this release, Indexing a new interpreter is twice as fast, and large variables are loaded into the debugger variables view asynchronously. 2017.3 brings several big steps for data science in PyCharm. Python is being used for more scientific development, and we've created a new feature especially for this. When PyCharm Professional detects that you use NumPy in an open file, we suggest our new scientific mode. You can also switch to this mode later. Scientific mode gives you four tool windows open by default. Your code, a console, a documentation viewer, and a variable viewer. If your project has a file with a matplotlib plot, then executing your code under the Python console or debugger will display in our integrated plot viewer. Many PyCharm professional customers do full stack web development, and 2017.3 includes several important improvements. PyCharm previously included a graphical client for testing REST endpoints. We now have a new file-oriented HTTP client. First, create a new file of type HTTP request, which gets a .http file extension. This file type has syntax highlighting and autocomplete for writing REST-style HTTP requests. In this case, an HTTP GET is the default, followed by a URL. When you are ready, run the file and see the response output. Perhaps you have some data in a local JSON file and want to write a test that issues a POST to the endpoint. This time, use the POST verb with headers that use autocomplete and include the JSON file, then run it. One interaction with multiple requests can be done in a single file. As you can see, hash separates the requests. PyCharm Professional integrates WebStorm and thus gets its new features for 2017.3. For example, the Jest test results are super fast thanks to direct integration with Jest's watch mode. Add the dash dash watch flag to the Run Configuration's Jest Options field and run the configuration. Then start changing your code or the tests of your code and watch as the test results update almost as you type. Many other improvements included from a big WebStorm release, code analysis and refactorings, debugging, Vue.js, and more. PyCharm Professional 2017.3 also supports the forthcoming Django 2.0. For example, we correctly handle the new path-based route syntax. Core Python support in PyCharm gets several usability and feature improvements in 2017.3. First, Big changes in our local interpreter configuration. 2017.3 now better supports virtual M setup, remembering if you prefer virtual M's in your project or under a central directory. Running Python modules is becoming more popular, and our run configurations now support this. Edit a run configuration to select module name and provide the module, such as running Flask. Other Python features in this release Customize the color for function names and type hints. And go backwards during debugging with jump to cursor. Working in large projects means lots of branches, and PyCharm speeds up the workflow on this. In 2017.3's VCS tool, if you frequently switch between branches, the IDE will preserve and restore your workspace for that branch. Open files, selected run configurations, breakpoints, etc. PyCharm Professional bundles DataGrip, our IDE for SQL development, 
and 2017.3 includes its new features. Ever worked on a large data science project with many databases or had several environments for your web application? You'll appreciate the ability to group data sources. Also in 2017.3, quickly show the return expression type, support for PostgreSQL 10 syntax, and more. PyCharm 2017.3 brings new features plus many refinements to existing features, making for a solid update to our Python IDE. Check the website for more information, and thanks for watching this video.